removed from Winter Darling. They sent on their way. Tucker Marker and Trendy Guy, the last two with Uncle JB. Caddy Master, Figaro's right there, dancing in the dark with a good position. Fires off Calais towards the outside of that one. It's racing about four lengths off the leader at this stage. They move towards the 1,000 metre marker. Further back is Heptagon and then comes Fellow Traveller. That's near the rail with the red blinkers, racing about four lengths off the leader. Then Winter Darling, Ace Pilot, Trendy Guy. Uncle JB's the trailer, about eight or nine lengths off the leader. Figaro leads it, Caddy Master is second. At the rail, dancing in the dark, between the two of them, Fellow Traveller with the red blinkers and blue cap. On the outside, Fires of Calais, then comes Heptagon. Towards the outside, let's go west. Top of the lane, and it's Figaro, the leader. Caddy Master moves up alongside. Fellow Traveller, the red blinkers now asked to run. Heptagon's towards the outside. Caddy Master, though, the one to get to, and Figaro's going to try and fight back. Caddy Master, just the leader. Figaro, Fellow Traveller is starting to warm up, and Fellow Traveller's coming to get them all. Fellow Traveller picked it up and swoops down to win, going away. Fellow Traveller, four lens, Caddy Master, Uncle JB, Heptagon ran fourth. So, number one, Fellow Traveller. Took a while to get into his stride, but once he gets there, he just rockets away from them. There's the path fork, Anton Marcus for Glenn Carson. Second win from six outings. Ends up joint favourites. I take note, numbers one and four, both showing up at three rand. We'll have to confirm the toad favourite. And fellow traveller wins it well for Highlands Farm Stud. And second, Caddy Master moved up. And travelled like a winner. Uncle JB came from the tail of the field. Further back in the field was Heptagon. No extra from Figaro, Ace Pilot and then Trendy Guy. So despite all the problems that fellow traveller had, he looks a big son of Pathwalk with all that equipment. And just look at Antonia. The red blinkers, blue sleeves and cap. Caddy Master still under the hands and so is Figaro. And fellow travellers taking a while to get into his stride. But he, once he gets to them inside the 150 metre marker, he just draws away to win it. So take note, tote favourites 1 and 4, both showing 3 rand. Get that confirmed until race 7, back to the studio. Yeah, good win here yeah. and a good ride as well by Anton Marcus. Glenn Cotson keeps turning out the winners here in KZN and uh, he's brought down a few. This horse has been here for a, 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 some time. We saw him uh, in the province on the 26th of March. But before we touch on this win, Glenn, you must be really happy with the way your horse has settled down. You know, you're having your winner at almost every meeting now. Yeah, thank you very much. Look, uh, it's not all plain sailing. We've uh, had a virus going through the yard at the same time, uh, especially with some of the younger horses. So that the horse we ran last week, a uh, pack leader came back and we scoped him and um, he was full of muck all the way down his track here and uh, we've, we found him one or two others. So hopefully we're on top of it. So, you know, so, you know prevention is better than cure. But um, going back to this horse, uh, I'm so, so pleased for the, the owners. You know, he, he's got all the ability in the world. He had a wind up and... Um, Anton Redham lost the most. Look, he's not breathing, and we did an overland scope. So thanks to Rolf Katzwinkel, um, we did an overland scope with him, and uh, we found that uh, he's getting his um, epiglossus entrapped, and um, he still couldn't breathe. So uh, with the Cornell collar, it's made a huge difference to him. But um, uh, Anton said he was pretty confident. He said maybe the distance is a touch short for him. And as you've seen, he only just got into it the last uh, couple of strides. But when he did get his action together, I think he's going to be a seriously nice horse if he continues to go forward and the Cornell collar can aid him. I concur. Anything else left from your side, Glenn? No, we've just the two runners and uh, we, we're going home. Well played. Yeah, thank you very much. Well done, Glenn Cotson and uh, Glenn Cotson Racing. Well done to all the owners here. Many of them involved. Uh, the source has notched up your second career win. Anton has kindly excused himself, but he mentioned, yeah, you can uh, tell the guys maybe top form could be my next best ride from my rides to come. But uh, if you caught this quartet here, race number six, one uh what's it 12 1 12 3 and 8 1 12 3 and 8 race number 6